so it is November 28th today, I think. <clears throat> so, not a ton going on. It was pretty cold here the last few days. It's, that window's in the back, it's kind of, there we go. It's been pretty cold. Uh, last night, it got down to about zero. So winter is here. No more field work for the year besides just hauling manure out and that's about it. So it's time to get some cow maintenance done. So tonight I'm going to vaccinate the cows. And if you haven't noticed, I have a little cold thanks to our children and my wife. She was sick the other night. I think everyone kind of knows what that's like. When one gets it, it's a domino effect. Everybody in the house gets it. So just got to deal with that. So I'm going to vaccinate the cows tonight. So what we do, we get a uh, pneumonia uh, vaccine. So this is called Bovashield Gold. So you're not supposed to give this to pregnant cattle, but we do. And the reason why we can is because our they get it once they're calves, and then they get it while they're springing heifers or before they're bred, the while they're bred. So they've gotten this their entire life, and we. We vaccinate them every year with it. So knock on wood, we don't have issues with cattle aborting. It's a modified live vaccine. And it says right on there that do not give it to pregnant cows unless they're, they've had it before pregnancy, which ours have had. So I don't recommend doing it if you haven't done it in the past. But this is what we do. And yeah, and that's about it. It helps with pneumonia. Uh, I don't know, there's all kinds of stuff. Big thing is pneumonia, but it's a virus, diarrhea, parafluenza, lep lepto. I can't read that great, so I don't know what the heck half that stuff means, but it's a vaccine. So we give it to the cows. So we're gonna do that, then we're gonna pour them also. So this is what we pour them with. Epra Zero, which is Eptermectin, which is a form of Ivermectin, I believe. And that just helps with, you pour it on their back, I'll show you what we do there, but it kind of gets into their system through their backbone, through their spine, I believe, and gets in their system that way. It helps with parasites in their body and bunch of other stuff I'm not I don't know if it helps a ton but pretty much everyone does it and it seems uh we do it we don't have issues with anything too bad so we just do it so show you how this all we're going to do the dry cows first run them through before we start milking get them treated vaccinated and we'll do the cows tonight while I'm, we're milking All right, so with these vaccines, there's one vial that has powder in it, the actual, the actual vaccine. And then this one, I think there's some in here too, but it's the liquid, so you gotta suck the liquid out and inject it into this one, and it mixes it up, and you got your vaccine. So, so with this, when you mix them like this, first I'll say I'm not a doctor, veterinary, nothing, but they're, when they're like this, they, they have a shelf life for quite a while. But as soon as you mix it, it kind of activates the organisms and stuff, or bacteria or virus, whatever you want to call it. And then it's, it's only, livable for 24 hours so if you don't use it up right away it's junk you gotta throw it away so we got just enough for all the cows and then if i do have any extra i'll vaccinate the calves here tomorrow with it just so we don't waste anything So 
So I got all the liquid in. I'll, I usually suck it back out two or three times just to get it all mixed up good. I'm a little gun shy of doing this or pulling out shots. So I, I do not like getting shots at all. I give shots every day, but me getting a needle in me is very, I don't know, it's a fear of mine or a phobia. But two times in my whole life I've poked myself with a needle and they've happened this last year is when I was, the bottle of Exceed, which is some thicker medication, and I had it in, I was, you got to kind of push the syringe up and pull down at the same time, and it slipped out, and the force from my hand pushed it up, I jabbed myself right in the palm. God dang, does that make me mad. So I'm a little cautious now when I'm doing that because I actually borderline passed out when that happened. But we're not getting poked today. So we got this mixed up. So this is enough for 50 doses. It's a 100 ml bottle. So we have two cc's to each cow. Sub Q, so just under the skin. So we'll get some cows up and get vaccinated. All right, so I'm out here in our holding pen. So our dry cows are right over here. So I'm gonna bring them all into the holding pen here. Then I'm gonna treat them in our palpation rail. I got the foot bath set up. It's gonna kill a few birds with one stone, make them walk through that foot bath, vaccinate them, pour them, and let them out. And Bring the next group in. Just, it's actually going to work out pretty nice. We got the hoof trimmer coming next week. So hopefully we can knock a few extra warts out here on the dry cows. A few less wraps we got to do. A few more cows we can hopefully get trimmed then. First group done. So it's not ideal doing it in the palpation rail because it'd be nice to do everything from this side, but they typically put their head out that side when I give the shot. I do it in the neck, kind of between the neck and the shoulder there, get it under the skin. Typically they'll turn that way, then you get one that'll turn the other way. It's like when I do the milk calls, I do it in the parlor where they're all in the standing there with that in the head gate. But this works, there's only 20, 25 dry cows. So. Won't take too long. 